Hello friends, it is Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations and I thought with craft fair season just around the corner, now would be a really good time to learn how to make some business cards inside a Silhouette Studio. That way when you're at your craft fair, you can hand out business cards along with your products so people know how to find you when it's time to order more. So I went ahead and I've got, um, we're going to do two sided business cards and I'm going to show you what I've got on my cards. So I'm just going to zoom in here and you can see on the front of my card, I just put my logo, my name, my title, and this is my tagline, which basically tells what I'm all about. And then on the back of my card, I'm listing things that I want people to know. So where they can find my SVG files, um, how to get um, tutorials on Silhouette Studio, where they can find free SVGs, and then also my Silhouette keyboard shortcuts. So these might not be applicable to you. Maybe you wanna put uh, a, you know, how to contact you. So an email address to follow you on Instagram or Facebook might be a good place so people can look at your products. And then, you know, if you have an Etsy shop or you're selling, that's also good. So this is uh, just an idea of some things that you can put on your business cards. But I just want to show you how you can make your own um, print and cut business cards. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out here. And I'm using a letter size sheet of paper here because that is what fits in my printer. I'm going to come over to my page setup and I'm going to turn on my registration marks. And then I like to use under the advanced settings. First, let's go back and turn on my print and my cut border. That way I can see that everything fits. And for me, I have to go under my registration marks, under the advanced options, bring that inset all the way out so I can maximize the amount of space on my page. But then I have to bring that bottom inset up to fit inside of my print border. And for me, that's 0.75. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to take the back of my card and I'm gonna set that off to the side. And I'm gonna take this line that is around, this is just kind of showing the area of my card. And typical business cards are three inches by two and a half inches, which is what I've got mine set. And I'm going to take that point value from one, uh, a point value of anything other than zero will print. And I don't wanna print that border. That's what I want to cut. So I'm just gonna take that line and I'm gonna give it a zero point value. I can leave it that black color and that's fine. And then I'm just gonna make sure Control and G to group that together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the front of my card. I'm gonna take that outer box and I'm gonna give it a point value of zero because I don't want that to print. That's gonna be my cutting border. And then I'm gonna take everything here, Control and G, to group it all together. And now I'm gonna line it on my paper here. And I'm gonna come over to the Replicate panel and I'm gonna replicate to the left, I'm sorry, to the right, and then I'm gonna make a couple of copies down, and I'm gonna see how much I can fill up this piece of paper. And that's probably about all I'm gonna get, so let's go ahead and fill up the rest here. And now we can replicate up. So I'm gonna get eight cards out of a sheet of paper. And now I'm gonna take all of these, I'm gonna group them together, again, Control and G. And then I'm going to center that to the page. That is the important piece, so that way your front and your back are going to line up. Now the way my printer works, to make this read on the back side, I don't have to do anything special because I'm going to take my piece of paper and flip it over. But I'm going to do the same amount as I do here for the back. 
So I'm going to just, just scoot this one over. I'm going to replicate a copy to the right. And then I'm going to select both of these copies. And now I'm going to do this column of, uh, let's do column of four. And I'm going to hit that and that's going to make me three more copies. All right, so there are all of my copies. And now I'm going to take these, select them all, control and G to group them together. And then I'm going to take this group and I'm going to take it to a new page. So now I'm going to control C to copy. I'm going to open a new tab in Silhouette Studio. Again, I'm using the same letter size piece of paper and I'm going to hit control and V to paste in place. And that pasted it over on the side, which is fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to center all of that to the center of my page so it's in the same position as the front of my cards are on the other piece of paper. So I'm going to come over here and hit this center to page button. All right, now that I've got my design centered to the page, there's nothing else here that I need to do. I do not need to use registration marks because this is going to print on the back side and it's going to know to cut on those same lines. So I can come over here back to our front of our design here. And with this still grouped, the back of our card, I wanna show you if I center that, that it's gonna line up perfectly with the front of our card. So that way you can see that everything is gonna cut, those lines are on the same place, so we know it's gonna cut correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control and Z to undo that move. And now all we need to do is go ahead and send this to the printer. So we wanna leave the registration marks on the front of our business cards. We're gonna send this through. For my printer, then I will flip the paper over and I wanna make sure that this little rectangle or this little square here will be entering into the printer first, but on the underneath or however your printer will do it. And then we'll print the other side. This will make more sense as we head to the printer and I'll show you what it looks like over there. Okay, so here is the front of the cards. It has printed and here is my top left corner registration mark here. So to feed this back into my printer the correct way, I need this mark to go in first, so I'm gonna take this paper and I'm gonna flip it over because my paper prints what would be when you set it on your um, cutting machine, this is gonna be my top left, but it printed it this direction in the bottom right. So now I'm just gonna flip that over. So now my registration mark is in the bottom left corner and I'm gonna put that in my machine, back into my printer. Okay, so I've, I've got it in my printer upside down. I'm gonna come back over here. This is the second page. And I'm just gonna come up here to print. Again, we've just got that centered on our page. And now we can just go ahead and hit print. All right, so this is the front of our page. We've got our top registration mark up here. And then when you flip it over, this is still the top registration mark and the words are reading correctly on the back side. So we'll go ahead and put our paper on our cutting mat. So that um, square is in the top right corner, just like it looks on your screen in Silhouette. So I am using um, Nina 110 pound cover stock. Uh, that way it's a really good thick paper to make these out of. Um, so you might want to consider using something really thick. Um, you could also consider doing, if you wanted to uh, make some of this, like a foil on your logo or something to make your uh, business card stand out a little bit more, that is also an option. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this cut out. Oh, so I've got a registration mark sensor error. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload. 
I've got everything set up. I'm going to reload in the machine here. Load cut mat. And then I'm going to go ahead and just um, hit to do an automatic registration and try it again. And now it's reading my registration marks. So I am cutting by line color because I only want to cut out that box around each uh, card. So I purposefully made that outline box a different color from everything else that's in the front and the back side of my business card. So that way I could easily go to cut by line color, choose just the color of that box to get that cut out and then it won't try to cut anything else. So here you have it. These are our lovely two-sided business cards. So now let's talk business. Was it really worth it to spend the time to make these myself? With using the 110 pound cover stock, it had to take two passes to cut these out, which leaves some of the edges a little frayed and it takes a lot of time. So, you know, I think you'd be better off if you maybe printed that border line um, in a soft color that didn't show up very well, make a bunch of copies and then just cut them with a paper trimmer or better yet, um, check out some different websites where you can design your own business cards and have them printed for you um, and sent to your house. I think that's probably the best thing for your dollar and your time. But you know, if you're in a pinch and you just needed a few, um, this would be a great way to make a couple to get you going. So if you are interested in some other print and cut ideas, you can check out the links and videos up here. Or if you wanna do some more double-sided printing with some cards, some greeting cards, check out this video over here. And don't forget to subscribe and like the channel here so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.